Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we'll discuss on the popular topic, which is PACs. What exactly PACs mean? So PACs is one of the business area of ISO 2022. Now, as I say, one of the business area, why I say because ISO 2022 has a different business areas like payment clearing and settlement, we have gas management, we have payment initiation, we have securities, we have RADA and uh, and exchange related, card related, and, and many more, right? Every financial entities or financial uh, areas or aspect has this business domains and ISO 2022 has different, different businesses offering for different financial services. So let's focus on this fax for now so it is payment clearing and settlement so what are the different messages with offering from the iso 22 2022 for the packs so the first one is your packs 008 now it comes with a variant in person as well. So this is how it would look like. So this is nothing but your single customer credit transfer payment. All right. The next one is your PAX 009. This is your FI to FI credit transfer. This is again, you know, if I had to give the equivalent message for the PAX 8, you can directly give it to your MT103. Same way for the PAX 9, you have MT202. And the new message which is in, introduced in our Master 2022 is your patch structure two. This is FI to FI payment status report. So there isn't any dedicated or equivalent messaging in your traditional empty messages. And the next one is your packs. Um, Chapter four, which is nothing but your payment return misses. All right. And this is equivalent to your MT103 return misses or MT202 return misses. And similarly, we have other set of fax messages as well, like fax 07, 003, etc., which will be used for the direct debit payments as well. So if you want to learn more on this ISO 2022 in depth, when I say in depth, you will learn about each and every data elements for the different messages with the business use cases, which will be definitely be useful for you in order to track some of the good interviews, which is right now going for the different migration project for the different payment schemas, not only limited to the cross border payment. The, the migration work is happening for your Fedwire and other very important high value payment system around the world in Canada or Japan or even in the Middle East as well. So do reach out to us if you want to learn more on this ISO 2022 aspect, because this is right now a hot job openings which will be available on this. So if you have a good knowledge in ISO 2022, definitely it will help you in your career as well. So just email us on our email ID, which is Swift Payment Guru. at gmail.com. So we have different courses offering right now in terms of uh, the training. We have SEPA, we have real-time payment system, we have ISO 2022 migration and then cross-border payments. So do reach out to us and uh, we'll get back to you with the necessary information on the upcoming batches or if you have requirement in the self based program, then we'll let you know on the self based program as well. This is all for the day and I'll come back with a new video. I'll see you next time.